Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Happy Monday. We are starting this week off in a chipper mood. I literally woke up laughing. I don't know. I went to the comedy cellar last night and it was so funny. I'm just riding the high from that. If you live near a comedy club, you just must go. It's amazing. Um, you can guys can go watch my last vlog, which is a Sunday reset vlog. Um, which ended up being me going to the comedy club at the end of the vlog. Go watch it. Anyways, it's Monday. We're getting after it. The headband is on, the lip balm is on, the eye patches are at it. We're ice rolling our pain away. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm in a silly mood. Um, it's Monday, which means Gals on the Go Monday. We typically record the podcast on Mondays. We have a video component now too, so Brooke and I are going into the studio today to film. I'm so excited about this week's episode. We've been inspired by a lot of people doing like, submit your confessions, your secrets, funny stories, um, all anonymous. So, so many of you guys submitted some really funny stuff and just tea, if you will. So, we're gonna do that episode today and obviously like, do a normal catch up in the beginning as we always do. But I'm really looking forward to that. Just continue the laughing cycle because laughing is so good for the soul. It truly is. So yeah, I have about two hours to myself this morning, so I'm just... Mondays are always really long and really busy and lots of talking, so I really try to spend my Monday mornings um, like playing my frequency music and drinking tea and just being very um, intentional about everything I do this morning and just really giving myself this peace and solace. So yeah, the podcast is pretty much already prepped. Um, so I'm just gonna take out my doing well daily and write down my manifestations for the day, um, any affirmations and that vibe. Um, before we go to the studio, we're meeting at Ludlow House with Emma to do a little meeting because this, this week's really fun. There's lots of fun stuff going on. On Thursday, we're doing our first Gals on the Go virtual live show right from my couch. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Um, so. Once this video is up, this has already happened, but I, I am so excited about the stuff we have planned. We want to make it like stuff we maybe wouldn't talk about on the podcast or just get a little juicier. Or we have a lot of interactive things we're doing. So yeah, I'm really excited. I just wanted to sit down and kind of start the vlog like, hey, what's up? This is the vibe for the week. I'm feeling in a really good headspace. I'm coming off a really great weekend. My best friend ever came up to visit me this past weekend, which was really, really good for me. It was really good for the soul and I'm really thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I just I'm so excited to take you guys along another week in my life in New York City But yeah with that. Let's just do you know the morning routine you guys you guys already know the vibes All right, just did my makeup um Light stuff, I'm bringing touch-ups though, because like I said, we're doing this meeting first. So yeah, we're also gonna wear our new merch because it comes out this week for the show. So I'm just wearing this sweater um, from Free People to like go to the meeting. So here's my little fit, if you guys are wondering. It's really, really random, but I love this sweater. It's from Free People. They have so many different colors. Leggings, Spanx, and then my boots are Steve Madden. It's raining, bringing the umbrella, tote, jacket, the whole nine yards. Let's get started with the day. I'm so excited. Hi guys, so we're at the office now. It's a little bit later. We're gonna get all set up. Um, we're announcing our merch, so I'm wearing the white zip up. It'll be available by the time this vlog is up. And Brooke's gonna be, she's putting on the pink zip up right now. We've got all the cameras. We literally do three cameras each week. We're just setting up right now. We had an amazing meeting. I'm so excited if any of you guys um, attended the live show because this is in the future now. Um, I hope you had so much fun. We just were dying laughing this morning coming up with like the, the fact we're doing like a fact or fiction segment, a truth or drink, three drinks you're out. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just getting the memory cards out of my wallet. Probably could have a better way to store all this, but yeah, I'm gonna touch up my makeup a little, just put a little bit of powder on maybe a little bit more under eye concealer and get all the camera set up and then it's lights camera action we're sharing your confessions anonymously i'm so fun i just know i'm so fun i'm so excited i mean it's gonna be a really funny episode so if you don't listen to gals on the go podcast what are you doing come on <laughs> just got back i'm hitting kind of like my midday slump it was such a great episode um mondays are always like my get down to business day so we just did all the gals on the go stuff and now I have a ton of emails on my own and I want to get my video up for Wednesday and just 
all that stuff. Um, but I need to like spray my face and wake myself up a little. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Just got my sun basket meals delivered for the week. I love it. I do this, I buy this myself. I usually get four to five meals a week to kind of use as a lunch or a dinner if I'm eating alone or don't feel like cooking. Um, this has really changed my life. Um, chicken parm with basil marinara over penne, beef stroganoff over egg noodles, white chicken chili, and then sweet pea and broccoli risotto. And then these go with this. I've had this before, it's so good. And I've also had this before, it's so good. I haven't tried these two. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge. I'm so sleepy right now. Sorry, you guys can like tell in my voice, but. Before I put them in the fridge, I wanted you guys to see what I got. I was like, why am I, I was keeping my makeup on, that's why I sprayed the facial mist. And I was like, I have nowhere else to be tonight. And all I wanted to do was just like rub my eyes and my face. So I just took all my makeup off to my skincare routine. Oh, it feels amazing. Um, I think I'm gonna make a little um, sun basket meal for lunch. And it's a gloomy, rainy day, so I think I'm gonna Get it's just like dark enough outside where I can turn these lanterns on. They're really just like battery powered, and I'll turn them on at night sometimes for a cozy vibe. But honestly, I think they'll look good on this gloomy day. I've got some good music going right now. I'm listening to Oat Milk Lattes in the Mountains playlist, and uh, yeah. The vibe to the right. This is very nice. Very nice. I also wanted to tell you guys, if you watched my Sunday reset vlog, you would know I decided to try and wash these sneakers because they got so dirty I stepped in a couple puddles. And my mom was right, I just put them in the wash as is. I had my shoelaces tied at the time so they didn't get tangled. And I put a towel in there to buffer so it didn't make too much sound, use my regular detergent, everything. And they look phenomenal. And I just let them dry over the night. They're already dry because these are like cloth. So, highly suggest. I mean, this is probably common knowledge. And I did this when I was younger. But I haven't done it in a while. And I'm really happy about it. So, I learned about this. <laughs> just put a sun basket meal in the microwave. I made the beef stroganoff. I've had this one before. And I love it. Um, we are going to put on a little TV. I don't really know what that means. Maybe watch a YouTube video. Just a little mindless before I get back into work. Nothing too much to note. I've just been sitting here responding to emails. I should totally go put on my blue light glasses. My eyes would thank me later. Um, I'm on Goodreads right now, trying to decide what next book I'm going to read. And I think I'm gonna read The Last Mrs. Parrish. I just finished November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I would recommend it, it was good. It was basically like a whole build up to the end of the book. So if that's your vibe, or if you need to be like really entertained the whole time, it wasn't like, the best book I've read of hers by any means, but I want something different. I want something a little bit more thrilling, and this is a romance thriller called The Last Mrs. Parish. I've heard amazing things, so I think I'm gonna get this on my Kindle. And yeah, so I'm just reading about that right now. Also for reference, I'm watching YouTube videos right now. I'm about to watch 24 Hours with Madeline Petch um, on Vogue. I'm just gonna watch some Vogue videos. They're very, very entertaining and very soothing. All right, you guys, I've been influenced. I'm on um, Athletic Greens' uh, website right now. I love green juice so much, but there's just times where I wanna get my greens in and I don't have like ingredients to juice or I don't like, I don't wanna go out and buy a juice. Or, I don't know. There's just been days I just wanna get my greens in and honestly, if I could have a consistent way to like get my greens in every day, every morning, whatever it may be, that would be fire. Um, so Athletic Greens has been on my radar for a while. My trainer that I just started working with uses it, loves it. Um, a lot of my friends use Athletic Greens. It says 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced nutrients in one convenient daily serving. One scoop, eight ounces of water, it's all you need really. Like, I just feel as though I should get this. Things that just make sense. Um, I am like fully prepared for not to taste like a perfect, amazing apple, kale, lemon, ginger juice, but 
I'm really intrigued. And as you guys know, 2022 is the year of wellness for me. I also, a few of you, and I was talking to my parents about this, were recommending I take um, vitamin D. It Vitamin D deficiency is really, really common during the winter, I've been told. I mean, obviously it makes sense because you're not in the sun as much and everything. So yeah, I'm thinking about also taking vitamin D. Um, I've talked to some people recently who started taking it um, and, you know, see differences in their day to day. So I don't know. I'm just a supplement girl. I'm like obsessed. But yeah, just thought I'd share all that with you. I'm just sitting here, ice rolling my face. I have some packages I need to go downstairs and get. One being a ring light for the Gals in the Go Live show. So anyways, I just am checking in every now and then while I sit here. All right, it's almost time to watch The Bachelor. I'm just gonna put it on. I think it's usually right after the Wheel of Fortune, so we'll just watch this for a little bit. <laughs> Drinking some Health Aid kombucha in the pomegranate flavor. It's delish. Oh my gosh, I was just thinking I really want a snack to watch the show. I, oh my God, these look so good. So I bought, um, oh, I've had those veggie sticks. I bought like this potato chip, the avocado oil um, potato chips from this brand, and they saw me feature them in a vlog, so they reached out and asked if I wanted other um, snacky poos, and I was like, yeah. <gasps> oh, this, oh my God, sea salt and vinegar. I don't know where I'm gonna store all this, but I'm so excited, oh my gosh, popcorn. Here we go. Opening up my Fashion Pass order right now. I love it, I rent three items a month from them and it's just so nice because then, I don't know, like something like a coat, I can just wear for the month and get my use out of it and then rent something else the next month. So I really like this one. I have one semi-similar, but it's like a wrap style. This is a trench. Honestly, I love this vibe, you know, just like a plain situation underneath with the trench. I love it. So I'm really excited. I believe this is BB Dakota. So this is the first thing I got. I'm so excited to play around with this. Layer it, wear like a hoodie or a sweatsuit underneath. I think that's going to be so fun. Next up, I got this sweater. I love it. We're going on a little winter trip in a couple weekends, and I feel like this is perfect. I'll probably end up wearing it before that, but either way, this just gave total cabin vibes. Um, I really like it. I love this little bold situation, and I like how it's a turtleneck. Keep you warm. So yeah, that's the next thing I got. And lastly, I had to get this. I've never skied in my life. I will be the first to admit, but might be skiing. Might when we go on this trip, I don't know, I haven't decided. But either way, I'm here for the opera ski, just like hanging out after drinking some hot cocoa. I love this. I believe it's from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I think it's so cute, it's so chic. Love it with some snow boots, a vibe. It's just black and white. And they had, I think, one that was red and blue as well on their website. But yeah, so those are the three things I got. Thought I'd show you them and actually try them on it and not be lazy. <laughs> Little self plug to go follow me on Instagram. I just had some fun and did a little things I've been loving lately slide. So I talked about stuff that I'm truly obsessed with right now and I linked them. Um, and I have these all saved to my story highlight on my Instagram called Winter Link, so you guys can go check them out. I just, things I've worn lately, stuff I'm loving. I mean, I obviously shout all this stuff out in the vlog too, but it's a great way to kind of see a ton of my links. Centralized, um, like concealer, this bodysuit that I literally wear all the time, and face mask and this um, beauty oil. So. Definitely give it a look if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram. At Danielle Carolyn, baby. It's a good time over there. Just heated up um, leftover dinner that Ryan and I had made together before it goes bad. So I'm just gonna eat this now. It's almost nine o'clock now, wow. Gotta have some sleepy time tea to end off the evening. Love it. Add that to my list of beverages over here. I just finished the last episode of And Just Like That a couple days ago, so I'm gonna watch the documentary on it. I just remembered that I had these in my freezer because these were like desserts I grew up on as a kid. And I saw them in the grocery store the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, need. Um, so we're gonna treat ourselves to one right now. They're dairy free, which I didn't even realize when I was younger. Like, look how cutie. Ah, also so far, and just like that documentary is really entertaining and it's really cool seeing behind the scenes of um, Sex and the City filming. Oh, tastes like childhood.
So I started the last Mrs. Parrish last night. Sorry, I still have like morning voice. And I cannot put my Kindle down. It's so good. I have to because I have to shower and get ready for the day. But this book is absolutely amazing. And I'm obsessed. And I thought I'd tell you guys. Good morning, friends. I, well, I've already said good morning, but hello again. Um, I feel like a new human after I shower. So that's why I guess I'm saying good morning again. I just showered, a little body shower. I have a little Zoom meeting in like two minutes. And then after that, I have a hour, hour and a half, and then I have another call. And then Brooke and I are doing the traditional, the good old Target and Trader Joe's run. I haven't been to Trader Joe's probably literally since last year. Um, and we also wanna get some stuff for the Gals in the Go Live show, like cheese board stuff, some flowers. I don't know, we're trying to figure that out. So we're gonna do that together. And then I have dinner tonight with Kelly. So yeah, also I'm wearing this new sweatsuit that I got in the mail last night from Something Navy. And it's so cute, it's this just green color. It's so perfect, cause like I'm about to hop on a call but I feel like it looks kind of professional still, but I'm comfortable. I love this green color with just like a claw clip. It's definitely a moment. Um, so I'm gonna hop on this call, catch in with you guys after. Happy Tuesday. Just finished my call, it was really cool. It's a company that I really wanna start working with um, and talking about with you guys, so that was you guys are gonna die with what their services are. It's insane. Time for the doing the daily of the day. <laughs> um, let's see what today's is. Let your choices reflect your hope, not fear. Oh, that's good. So I gotta fill out, you know, what I'm grateful for, my affirmations on that page, and then we've gotta get after it today. So I'm gonna write my list of things I need to do. Um, I need to make my thumbnail for tomorrow's video. I need to do a Lululemon return. I always put things on this list and if it doesn't get done today, I just put it to the next day, it's really bad. Um, but I just have to have it all in front of me. Like anytime any thought comes into my head, like yesterday morning I started out and there was like nothing. And then as the day goes on, I'm like, oh, so I write it down. So there's a lot on here. Now I actually got a lot done yesterday. Today's a light day on the things to do. It's more of all the calls I have and stuff. We're good, because I have one more call as well. Like I have one more and then I have another after that now. Um, and then just video stuff thumbnail. I have a ton of boxes at my doorway that you guys cannot see right now. Um, I'm just pounding my LaCroix. I'll talk to you guys in a little. It's time to refill my little supplements box here. A lot of you guys asked me about it. I will link this below. It's from the brand Port and Polish. I actually saw them at a boutique here in New York recently, um, but I got it off of Nordstrom Online. Um, it's just cute. I like how there's a little mirror too. So I'm going to refill them all. I literally call this Club Penguin Mancala. <laughs> All right, I'm about to join this call with Luke, who we're doing our live show with. Um, we have a lot of questions for them about, we have different segments and we wanna have things on the screen and we're doing trivia and we have buttons we want people to be able to press. So we're just hopping on a call with them right now to go through the logistics. Hello, hello. We basically tried to allot 10 minutes to each segment that we wanna do. Um, and we're just gonna start with like a 10 minute intro, you know, talking, nothing crazy. However, right before we start. Uh, the different trivia polling type games, like Would You Rather, Fact or Fiction. Are there any other video or audio or photo assets that you are thinking of including in the show? I think, I think we're really happy with where we're at and we'll send you guys this right now. Sounds great. All right, done with all the calls for the day, woo! And we are just getting closer and closer to everything for Girls in the Go live show. We're doing a dress rehearsal tomorrow, which will be really good because we want it to be perfect. We want people to like be excited that they went. Now Brooke and I are about to do our little Trader Joe's Target run. Um, in the Lower East Side, there's a Trader Joe's and Target in the same building, which is so clutch. So I'm just getting together my bags. Caitlin bought a pair of Steve Madden shoes when she was here and they gave her this bag and she left it for me, which was really sweet. I'm trying to decide if I also need this bag. I guess it can't hurt. Might as well bring it. So yeah, I think we're gonna walk there 
and then Uber back because we both like we both were like, okay, so I'm planning this Trader Joe's run. Like, I plan to get a lot of stuff. I'm I'm like saying that. Who knows if I actually will? But I haven't been to Trader Joe's in so long, and it's so fun. Here's the final fit for Trader Joe's. I just threw over this jacket that I got from Fashion Pass. It's a good one. Let's go. Alrighty. I feel like we're two different vibes right now. <laughs> I dress for efficiency, Danielle dressed for cute. This is usually how it I, goes though. Yeah. Well, I thought it was warmer out. I was like, I don't need my puffer. It Fully need my 40s. puffer. It said that it was in the 40s today. To yeah, to so I know. Clear. It was at 47 at one point, but anyways, we're gonna go get all the goods. Target first, then traders. I'm excited to just Got the bags. cause some mayhem. <laughs> oh yeah, look oh, like. <sighs> Major bag alert. <laughs> and now we go to Trader Joe's, baby. Yum. So much goodness. All right, we've got two hefty bags here of Trader Joe's goodies. Hair just had to go up. I'm going to attempt to do a Trader Ho. <laughs> Trader Joe's haul, not Trader Ho, but I am Trader Ho. Broccoli, green beans, got lots of fresh produce. Um, kale. The, I'm gonna try and juice with this instead. They didn't, I couldn't find just normal kale. It was like pre-washed stuff. Um, I just like got stuff to make green juice. Peanut butter nuggets, those are so good. They're like peanut butter pretzels. Blueberries, blackberries and raspberries for my yogurt granola parfaits in the morning. Yogurt for those parfaits. I got another can of black beans. Uh, oh, I meant to get something for beverage of the week for my Instagram. Um, some dessert thoughts. And then I got celery, of course, for the green juice. More ginger shots, and then I got a couple bottles of my Favorite Synergy Trilogy kombucha. And then I've just been really craving bacon. And I recently went to Good Things in New York City. It's like a little Australian cafe. And I got eggs, um, bacon, and avocado sliced. And it was such a good combination. So I think I'm going to try that for breakfast. Like sub out the bacon for bread, I guess. All right, next up, I have been craving this bread. You guys used to get it all the time in college. Trader Joe's Tuscan penne bread is fire, so good. Um, and then we, I got these cupcakes for the live show. This is the only pink little dessert they had. So we got these, and then I also just got these, the little um, mini heart cookies, dark chocolate. So we'll have them on like a little plate while we're doing the live show. I always like to have some pasta and sauce on hand in case there's a snow in or something. So I just got spaghetti and marinara sauce. And I also want to try this linguine pasta, it's spinach and chive. Got a couple things of tea, I'm on a tea kick. We got peppermint herbal tea, which is caffeine free, and then Earl Grey tea I've been enjoying as well lately. Ugh, I'm dreading putting all this away. I don't even know if my fridge is gonna fill out all this. Mm. Cantaloupe, one of the best snacks ever. Baby carrots. Duh, for many purposes. Um, two more things of kombucha were overflowing to the table. I needed more olive oil, so I got it. And then a cucumber for my juice. Then we got more granola. I really like this granola from Trader Joe's. I've gotten it for years. It's fruit and seed granola. And then I got avocados. I don't think I've ever bought avocados unless I'm making like something with Ryan. But I'm telling you, I'm really excited to like slice them up, put a little salt and pepper, and then have like some like over easy eggs and some bacon. Yum. And the last thing I got are apples because they're also a great snack. So yeah, that's my little grocery haul. I'm gonna put everything away, listen to a podcast, clean my kitchen. It's just kind of a mess. I need to do my dishes. Things need to be done. And then we have dinner plans tonight with Kelly. So, woo, thanks for, thanks for watching. Oh, oh, and at Target, duh, the Target in the Lower East Side is very disappointing. It's not your typical like suburban Target, obviously. Um, so there was like a very small Valentine's Day section. 
So we got matching socks that we're gonna wear because we're gonna wear our merch for the live show But we'll probably want to like sit crisscross applesauce and people are weird about feet So we're like we'll get some cute matching socks and then we got this Garland backdrop. It's like pink vibes because what we're gonna do is sit here and do the live show so I'm thinking Without hopefully ruining this we can like fasten this here so it's like a pink gals and they go background. So that is officially everything we got today. Okay, you guys, I'm loving this fit. It's very Matilda Jerf inspired. She's an influencer. Top is from Zara. It's just this tank top blazer. It's this huge blazer from the Frankie shop. Jean, citizen of humanity, wearing my black dunk clothes. This bag that I'm renting from Vivrel. Some big hoops. I use rollers, my Dyson, to kind of give some volume like her. I literally inspired my outfit by her. So I'm gonna go meet up with Kelly. We're going to this restaurant called Emilio's Balato. It's so good. Last time I went, I saw Danny DeVito. So it's delicious. It's just like homey Italian food. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna pop another coat over this too, but I'm really happy with the fit. With my hot date. Oh my God, your hair, I realize how good your hair looks. So cute. <laughs> Stuff in my life. Looks so good. Good morning, everybody. I'm really proud of this breakfast. I put the bacon on when I got in the shower, which was kind of a vibe because when I got out of the shower, it smelled like bacon, but I burnt like this piece, but I like crispy, so. And then I cut up a little avocado, a little salt and pepper, two eggs. I'll let you guys know this is a good meal. Good morning, everybody. I'm attempting to do a slick bun. Boar bristle brush, it's always very important. Um. I'm vlogging while I do this because I don't really have much time. Um, Ryan came over last night uh, after dinner. Dinner was amazing as always. I love that place. I saw girls that I went to high school with literally years ago and I was like, you live in New York? What? So that was exciting. We were like, well, hang. Um, came back, Ryan and I watched an episode of Ozark. He slept over and then he always has to get up really early for work. So I was like really sleepy. Like, well, he gets really early up. I can't speak. He gets up really early because he wants to go to the gym before. So it was a nice 6 a.m. wake up call. And then I like tried to fall back asleep, couldn't, and then did. But then, you know, like the alarms, when you keep pressing the alarm, you just get tireder and tireder. I know that's not a real word. Sorry, I'm just like half asleep right now. Uh, anyways, I was supposed to have a very full day today, and the second half of my day is very full, but now. Uh, I'm going to get my nails done. My Valentine's Day nails are leaving before Valentine's Day. I know. Uh, that was always the plan. I think I'm going to do like brown tips today. Just more of a, a neutral vibe. But my nail appointment got pushed an hour later. And I was like, honestly, thank God I needed the sleep. Which I'm really thankful for. And then we were supposed to do this whole lunch um, and tour of the Gals in the Ghost studio with... A high up at podcast one but she had to reschedule and I like woke up to all that this morning so I'm like I have this free day after I get my nails done and I have some errands I need to run so today might be an errands day like I have to do a return at Lululemon um, I have to get my bracelet fixed and like random stuff so we'll see how the day turns out um, my breakfast was delicious I just took all my supplements I'm gonna bring a kombucha for the nail salon. And yeah, this is what I'm wearing, this A9 Bing um, sweatsuit. I love it. It's 36 degrees outside, so I'm gonna wear like a lighter jacket. Well, I did that yesterday and that's how, we know how that went, so. But, I mean 36 is actually cold. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know, I think I'm just warm in here because my heat's finally working and I'm like toasty. Just leaving the nail salon now. Got some brown tips. I love them. Um, I'm excited. Today's a good day. So here's a close-up of my nails. I just wanted to do some neutral 
tips of some sort. They're kind of fall nails, I guess, but it's still like winter. I don't know. I really like them. I'm really happy with them and they grow out really nicely. I'm so sleepy, but I haven't had coffee in like a week and a half now. And I think it's been really, really good for me, which sucks because I love coffee. I love making it in the morning. Maybe I'll make some Earl Grey tea that has a little caffeine in it. But I'm sitting here just doing some more um, admin stuff for the Gals and Go Live show that's tomorrow. Um, I'm about to, we're gonna have like a few of you guys who bought tickets come on stage with us to do the truth or drink. So I'm so excited. Um, so I'm about to post a story and ask for your emails and everything to include some of you. Um, and I'm just responding to some emails. Fashion week is coming up. It's this coming weekend and a little bit of early next week. And it's so weird with fashion week. It's like, you have nothing. You don't like, I wasn't invited to absolutely anything. And then like today and last night I started getting invitations to things. So it's kind of like, okay, I have no outfits. Um, I mean, not like complaining, but it's like, you. You really can't plan until you know what you're doing. Um, so things are starting to get a little hectic in the best way. So I'm definitely gonna do like a little New York Fashion Week vlog, which is so funny because the Super Bowl is on Sunday. So um, that's a funny little little twist. Oh my God, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you should go watch this TikTok. I was dying laughing. I won't spoil it, but basically I saw this girl on TikTok text her boyfriend there long distance and she was like, hey, I'm thinking of coming up this Sunday, the 13th. And he's like, oh my God, yeah, so fun. And she was like waiting for him to realize it was the Super Bowl. So I did that to Ryan. I was like, hey, I made really awesome plans for us this Sunday. And he's like, oh my God, what? I can't wait. I said, I got us a couple massages at the spa I was telling you about and a wine tasting at this French restaurant in Soho. I mean, I just fluffed it. And he was like, oh my God, it sounds great. Love a massage, but then it keeps going. So go watch my TikTok. It's at Danielle underscore Carolyn. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this, and then I think, I think we're gonna have a little, uh, little Upper East Side day. I haven't decided yet, but updates to come. Gonna make this sun basket meal for lunch, some white chicken chili. I love how it comes with the little chippies. And we're back, right here. Um, microwave's going. I pretty much got everything done from yesterday. I finished some of it just now, but there's four things that I'm carrying over um, to today, which I always do, as you guys know. So, today's quote, keep going. <laughs> it's turning into a hectic week, but I kind of like hectic. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing, but I kind of like it. So I'm gonna trace this quote, take some deep breaths as I do it, instill this into my brain, keep going. Anyways, I'm gonna fill this out and then we're gonna head on a lot of errands. I've just mapped out to my day and there's a lot to be done. Yum, this looks so good. All right, fam, here is the game plan. I'm just gonna keep this on because I really like it. I'm literally not wearing a bra. Like, I love this life, it's great. It's like a thick sweatshirt. I'm just gonna throw on the trench coat that I had on earlier that I got at Fashion Pass. And we're gonna run some errands. So I have to go over to Hudson Yards, I have to go to a store there to get my bracelet fixed. It literally almost fell off, which was, I've literally worn that bracelet every single day for three years, never taken it off, and it almost fell off. So I'm gonna go see if I can get the screw fixed. Um, and then from there, we're gonna head over to Soho. I have a pair of shoes to pick up from Steve Madden for Fashion Week and for this trip I'm doing next month. And then another store has something on hold for me for Fashion Week as well, so. Oh, and I have to do a return at Lululemon because I think I told you guys I got a pair of leggings and they literally say Lululemon down the side and that's just not my vibe. So I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have lots of errands to run and then I have to be back here by like 5.30 because Brooke and I have a dress rehearsal for our virtual live show. So I'm going to use this bag today. I literally got it on Amazon. I'll link it below. I was looking for... Well, I got it forever ago before I got any of my other totes and it just never came. It wasn't on Prime and I just figured it was never coming and then it said it was delivered like a month ago. It was never in my package room and then it showed up last week. So I don't really understand, but I love it. It's kind of perfect. It does fit my laptop if needed, but not much more than that. But it's so cute and like I can put a water bottle in there or something. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna throw over my trench coat we're gonna head to Hudson Yards which I really like that mall 
and then Soho and then back. So I figured I'd go furthest and then to Soho and then to Lower East Side, where I live. And then we have plans for my friends tonight, get a spray tan later. Woo! It's, it's happening! Fashion Week is happening! Live show is happening! Alrighty, it's ginger shot time. I haven't taken one today. These are from Trader Joe's. I love them. Um, it has coconut water, ginger, and lemon juice with added cayenne pepper. I, I, um, and then I'll actually leave. I've been like, I keep saying, I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna head out, and it's just, I need to actually go. So, cheers, you guys. Woo! <laughs> that feels great. Whoa. There was actually like no spice in that. Minor spice here. I think that's why I was like, I need to make more. I need to get more ginger. They didn't sell ginger at Trader Joe's. Okay, let's actually go. The final look. I'm giving myself a little workout, doing a 30 minute walk back to my apartment. Got some goods, I'll show you guys when I get back. Got these amazing green shoes from Steve Madden. So, whew. I just put on this like dark sweatsuit that I have from Skims. Um, I'm trying to just use it when I get spray tans because then it doesn't get on anything because Tan Lux is coming to my apartment right after a dress rehearsal to tan both Brooke and me, which I'm really thankful for, which would be awesome. We just wanted to be nice and tan for the live show. So I just have this on. I think Brooke is here. Quiet on the set. Quiet. <laughs> you look like um, like a director or something in the black. We're both wearing our dark. <laughs> dress rehearsal. Oh, let's Kelly texted me and was like, good luck on your dress rehearsal, guys. I was like, it's just missing. So I know. Well, we timed that perfectly. I know. We just finished the dress rehearsal. It was so cool. So cool. It's even more like tech involved, like in a good way than I thought. You know yeah, I mean? it's so seamless. Like, I don't think there's going to be, knock on wood, any no like. No hiccups. No hiccups. Uh -huh, uh -huh. None. Um, and we just did like, we practiced doing meet and greets with the people on the looped team. That was really fun. And. Yeah, this will already be up by the time it's happened, but... Yay! Yay! Now we get spray tans! Woo! Woo! Because I was looking really washed out in that yeah. camera, and I was like, thank God we're getting spray tans. No, I'm excited. We'll glow up for tomorrow. That's what yes. Like glow, glow up day. <laughs> we just got spray tan. It's clear, so it'll develop throughout. Um, and I was opening packages, and I think my mom just sent me something, which is so sweet. I know. Yes, I was like, is this PR? No, that's my mom's handwriting. Oh. I'm walking. Oh my god, I think it's another wreath for my oh daughter! My god, I was literally. Oh my god, this is. Oh my god. That's, that's so, so sweet. sweet. You're gonna have one for every season. Oh my, that's so weird, guys. I was yeah. just telling Brooke how I. Oh, she felt a little happy about She gave me a kiss. Oh, I got know. Later. I know. <laughs> My mom sent me like a, a peace wreath to, and I was like, oh, that's perfect for the month of January. So she sent me a February one. That's really cute. That's really that's thoughtful. Really thought. That's, I was literally just saying to Brooke, I need to switch it out. Oh my God, you not that. I know, it was already in my apartment. <laughs> Holy crap, mom, thank you. You're probably not watching this, but love you. It looks so good. It's tilted, I'll fix that later, but thanks mom. Hi. Here at Little Frankie's. Hi everybody. to a workout and I'm excited question mark here is my little workout outfit of the day this set is from year of ours I'm drinking a liquid IV I'm wearing my hokas with some socks I've got a bag packed over here because right after 
We are headed to Washington Square Park. Revlon is doing a pop-up for their new concealer that has caffeine in it, so they're doing a little coffee truck. Um, and I'm really excited, so I wanted to look a little bit cuter, so I'm literally gonna like do makeup at the gym, so. It's like, hey guys, you just met me last week, but now I'm gonna be getting ready here. All right, I got a blast, see you guys later. Just finished my workout, feeling good. Gonna change now. All right, here is the fit for the Revlon coffee truck. This is so beautiful. It's from Kristen It. I love. All right, I made it. We're headed to the Revlon coffee truck. My friend Erica's meeting me there to help me take some pics. My makeup came out okay. At the Revlon truck with Erica. Cheers. Cute. Woo! I feel like the last few days have just been going and going and going. Um, so this morning was so lovely. My workout was great. Um, and then I headed straight to the Revlon truck, obviously. And then went to like a second breakfast with Erica. Um, because every time after I work out, I'm just starving. Um, and now I'm about to just Oh, I'm so excited shower because this is so gross. I did not shower after my workout I don't really like sweat too much after weight training. I don't know if that's anyone else I mean, I didn't smell amazing, but I just like brought everything Because I did not have time to shower. They do have showers there um, And like did my makeup really fast slicked my hair back and went um, So now I'm gonna take the shower, you know wash my hair and everything the tan looks so good I'm so happy with it um, I'm also just loving this little jacket again. It's from Kristen it so shop Kristen it on Instagram. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna clean because I have some people coming here tonight um, For the gals in the go virtual live show. It's now like we're getting in show mode So excited. I have literally people texting me break a leg and now I'm getting nervous like I wasn't nervous and now I'm nervous um, But yeah, so we're gonna shower we're gonna clean because Emma and Caroline part of gals in the go team will be here And I just want it to be like clean obviously so see you guys in a little getting so so excited for the live show i look nuts i know i just finished doing my makeup brooke's heading over right now we have another like quick run through with the looped team um to go over anything that we like wanted to fix yesterday and then we're gonna make a charcuterie board and maybe have a little drinky poo and um then emma and caroline from the gals in the go team will be here and then we're gonna get started i'm so excited we're literally everyone's like what are you guys gonna wear we're just wearing the merch that's easy and it's comfy and it's cute and it's Valentine's themed. So feeling excited and nervous, but excited. Just did another little dress rehearsal. We just hung up these that we got at Target because it blocks the um, when you're sitting when we're sitting down, it blocks the ring light reflection. So we've got that all set up. Ooh. Brooke's in the kitchen. <laughs> <We're having lunch. laughs> and she's doing a cheese board moment. It's beautiful. Thanks. It's pretty good. The board itself is really good. A nice big board. Like keep it, you know what I mean? Like yeah, no, a lot it's of surface area. there's a lot of room to do stuff. Don't forget, you've got all the um, crackers. I the know crack is. We've got some. Oh, I need to put these out in a little plate for us, and we're just gonna feast at. It's gonna be a mukbang. Yeah, it basically is. Honestly, we have to do because we're drinking and we. we yes, go down. It's very important. No, oh, I'll get you a glass, and then. Oh, you have your bottle. Yep. And then of course we've got the fire bottle. Oh shit. I don't have as much as I thought. That's okay. I mean, it's enough for at least a shot each. Yeah, we're only really drinking that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? Please. Yes, we're both drinking wine. I'll definitely be uh, tipsy after this. Mm -hmm. I'm a little, little nervy in a good way. Just funny. 
Um, and yeah, that's the update. Brooke, you crushed it. Oh my god. Oh, she bowed. I forgot. Yeah, I missed it. Fancy. Beauty. We've that's got a little. I know, right? We've got a little dessert charcuterie over here. It's looking good over here. We've got the ideal setup. All right, we're about to start. Emma's here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hello guys, so it's a lot later. We just finished the meet and greets. It was so much fun. I'm so thankful for all of you. We're gonna be doing more of those, if not virtual, in person. I think it went really well. Thank you all so much. We definitely, as we always do on stuff like that, we just spilled the beans, so. Oh, thank you guys so much. I, I literally was like, whoa, Brooke, you almost finished your bottle, and then I looked at mine, and it was gone, so. That's how that happened, IFA 9.30 a.m. workout tomorrow. Should be fun, but thank you guys all so much for whoever came. Shout out all of you, it was so much fun, oh my gosh. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. Love you guys so much, stay tuned for the next vlog, and I'll see you guys soon, bye.